My 15-year-old daughter and I love retro video games. We often go to a retro video game arcade in Pasadena, California, and we also play a lot of computer games from the 1980s and 1990s. We thought it would be fun to build a dedicated machine at home that we could use to play these retro games. After a bit of online searching, we found out it's easy to use a Raspberry Pi, which is a $35 single board computer the size of a credit card, along with a free Linux-based operating system called RetroPie that has emulators for every arcade and console imaginable. With our Glowforge laser cutter, we could easily make an arcade cabin for ourselves as well as quickly make them for friends and family. In this two-part video series, which was underwritten by our friends at Glowforge, I'm going to show you how we did it. First, we bought all the parts and materials we needed to make the cabinet. We got a Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, an AC power supply, a 10 inch HDMI monitor, a set of arcade buttons and a joystick, a pair of speakers, some cables, and a box of various machine screws and nuts. You can find all the stuff online and I've included links in the description. One of the most important tools we needed was a pair of digital calipers. You can buy these measuring tools online for about $10. We use these to measure the dimensions of the different parts, such as the button diameter and the mounting hole dimensions for various components. The coolest tool we used was the Glowforge, which we used to cut the wooden sides and see-through acrylic top for the cabinet. The cabinet was one of the first things we ever made on the Glowforge, and I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to set up the Glowforge. Just 30 minutes after pulling it out of the box, I was cutting out shapes and making engravings. With the Glowforge, the possibilities are endless. It cuts wood, acrylic, even leather, and can be used to engrave almost any surface. For our design inspiration, we went to Pinterest and took a look at a bunch of different DIY game cabinets. We ended up going with a minimalistic design. To design the cabinet, we used a free web application called Tinkercad. This is a very easy to use computer-aided design app that kids and adults can use to design parts for 3D printers and laser cutters. I also used an easy online tool to help me calculate the diameter of the radius bends. In the next video, you'll see how I cut out the cabinet and assembled the components.